Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays where I uh, show you movies from my collection, new and old, laser discs, Blu-rays, DVDs, everything from my collection. Today, I got something new. I got eight movies to show you. Now, wait a minute. It's not going to be what you think. I have this new collection. It's an eight movie set from Universal. It's eight Western movies. And um, this is actually a really cool set. And I got it like for five bucks. And it's got a lot of great Westerns on here. A couple of my I wasn't really interested in. But, um, pretty cool it's one of these budget packs where you can get you know you've seen them you can get 10 movies 12 movies 8 movies um, well this has 8 movies they're all universal releases so they're they're good quality good sound everything is cool about them um, it's basically just a um, you know it's got four movies on each disc it's the two disc set but um, you know the movies didn't look too bad um, you know HD uh, this set came out in um, 2015 so it's about five years old um, it's got some great movies on here though and the first movie I want to talk about is the first movie on here and it's called Canyon Passage it stars Dana Andrews and um, Brian uh, Don Levy it's got a young Susan Hayward and um, I believe, I'm trying to think what this was a first of. Um, it was, it's, it's beautiful Technicolor. I don't want to say it's the first Technicolor Western because I don't think it was. I, I believe this came out in 1946. It was released. It's got a bunch of people in here. It's got like Royal Dano. It's got, you know, like I said, Brian D uh, Don Levy, uh, Dana Andrews, Susan Hayward. Um, great Technicolor movie. Uh, I'm trying to think who the director is. I want to say uh, Andre de Toth. I can't think of it right now. It doesn't really say on here. But it's a great, beautiful Technicolor movie um, from Universal. Or is it Paramount? Maybe it's Paramount. I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to think. There's so many movies on here. But yeah, it's really good. Um, highly recommend Canyon Passage. I was going to get this on Blu-ray at one time um, a few few years ago. And um, something happened. Like, it didn't get sent. I, I bought it. It didn't get sent. It got lost or something. I ended up getting refund, refunded for it. And uh, I was kind of bummed about it. But then when this set came out, or when I came across it one day, I was like, man, Canyon Passage, and I'm going to get that. It's well worth it. It's also got another movie I was going to get at one time, uh, The Man the Man from the Alamo, which uh, stars Glenn Ford, and uh, was directed by Bud Boddicker. And um, basically, uh, you know, Glenn Ford is playing the guy that left the Alamo during the battle uh, back during the uh, war for independence in Texas, um, around the, uh, I believe after civil war, after the civil war had ended and everything, and it turns out you know Glenn Ford's got to redeem himself and it's action packed and it's got some good performances in it. Um, it's got Chill Wills, he's in it. Uh, Julie Adams is in this movie. Um, I think I said in another video, I've seen her in a bunch of westerns just pop up. Um, if she's in this, she's really good. Always, always Julie Adams. That's what I can say about her because she always kind of does the same, same role. You know, the love interest, the, you know. Um, but yeah, really good movie. Um, you know, I found it to be a little cliche at times, but you know, overall. It's a great, solid, you know, patriotic movie from the 1950s, you know. Anybody that's from Texas should see this movie, you know. Um, next up, we got War Arrow. Uh, stars uh, Jeff Chandler. Um, Jeff Chandler did a series of westerns in the 50s um, and stuff. And he's, he's, he's pretty famous for having gray right here on each side of his 
head, you know, he has a distinct look. Uh, he did a lot of westerns. Um, War Arrow was pretty good. Um, it stars uh, Marino O'Hara is in it. It's this one up here. Um, and she did. She's you know I don't know man. Marino O'Hara. Let me let me just stop for a second. Marino O'Hara is one of those actresses where you know she's famous for being in. Um, um, what was she? John Wayne, the uh, the Quiet Man. She's famous for that, amongst other things. Now I like her in some movies, but there's some movies I just I don't know. There's something about her sometimes I just don't. Hope that's not reflecting there, but just something I don't really always dig about her. So I don't know. It, it's still still a solid western and everything. Uh, next up, finish off disc one, is The Lawless Breed. Uh, this stars uh, Rock Hudson and uh, Julia Adams again. See, she pops up a lot. And The Lawless Breed was a great movie. Um, Rock Hudson's just one of those early Rock Hudson, you know, westerns. With, he did a series of them in the early 50s. And um, I want to say... It's like 54, I want to say, 53, something like that. But yeah, it's a great, it, it's a great movie. He's just, he's just going crazy, man. He's just, he's on the run. He's blasting people. And it's, um, I think it's based on some actual events or based on a real character. Um, but yeah, it, it was a great movie, The Lawless Breed. Um, you get, that was another movie I was going to buy just the, the regular disc of it at one time. And I just never did. So, and uh, the man from the Alamo, I was going to buy a disc with that at one time too. So it's like, I'm checking all these, all these movies off my, you know, checklist to get this one video and, um, which we start, you know, the, um, the second disc, which, um, starts off with, uh, the redhead from Wyoming. And this is a movie starring, uh, Maureen O'Hara again. Uh, she's caught between her feelings for a suave promoter, played by William Bishop, and the town's appealing but less flamboyant sheriff, played by Alex Nichol, which Alex Nichol's been in a lot of westerns, well, usually in the supporting cast, usually always turns in a good, good uh, performance um, and everything, so, so yeah, good movie. Uh, next up, we got uh, Seminole which uh, stars uh, Rock Hudson, Anthony Quinn. Um, tensions rise between the military and the Native Americans. Um, I, I take it it's in Florida area, Seminoles. Um, Officer Caldwell, Caldwell, played by Rock Hudson, uh, turns his childhood friend, uh, Chief Ocelo, 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 sorry, uh, who's played by Anthony Quinn, uh, for help, he turns to his Indian boyhood friend for help uh, during stuff. Sometimes the explanations on the back doesn't give you a true definition of what the movie's about, but great movie. And to finish off this uh, eight movie set, we got two movies starring uh, Fred McMurray, which uh, Fred McMurray, uh, you know, best known for My Three Sons, a TV show. They, you know, he's famous also for a bunch of movies he did for Paramount and Universal in the 40s and 50s, even the 30s, um, when he started out in Hollywood. Um, I mean, he's legendary in uh, Double Indemnity, which, you know, classic. Um, you know, he's, he's well known for The Apartment, 1960s movie Billy Wilder directed. Um, but as a Western star, I've always, I've always kind of like, man, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I buy him as a cowboy, you know what I mean, as a Western person. But um, the movie uh, Quantes, he was really good in it. He turned in a really good performance, very believable. Um, that movie is a, a gang of uh, robbers led by Fred McMurray try to escape and cross into. The Mexican border, but they're um, they're um, attacked by a group of Indians that 
has basically run the townspeople out because it was their sacred land, and they end up robbing this bank. The, the the robbers they come in and they hold up in this abandoned town, and the Indians are waiting for them at dawn to get them before they can cross over to the river. And uh, so it's basically it's a movie. It's a character. It's a, a lot of time for character study. Um, the actors are all hanging out in the abandoned town mostly in this one room store uh, basically and it you know a lot of tensions flare and everything between the you know the he's the leader and he's not you know he's who, who's the untrusting person of the gang who's trying to sell the gang out and you know etc um, um, it's got a great performance by Dorothy Malone uh, as the uh, female member of the gang. So it's a really good movie, uh, Quantes. Um, it's a big Cinemascope movie from, I believe, 56, 57, or 50, 55, I think it was. But it's a big uh, Cinemascope movie. Uh, and the last movie on the set uh, with Fred McMurray is called A Gun for a Coward. Now this movie's got a great cast. Uh, Fred, Fred McMurray... It's got Dean Stockwell and Jeffrey Hunter. Jeffrey Hunter is kind of underrated. He's best known uh, for uh, 1956's The Searchers, uh, John Ford's famous Western movie. Uh, my vote for probably the, my favorite Western of all time, starring John Wayne. Jeffrey Hunter plays, you know, searching for his his um, his cousin Lucy. Uh, best known in that movie, but he's been in a lot of cool westerns, um, and I've, especially with John Ford, uh, Sergeant Rutledge. He's really good in that. Uh, but yeah, he plays a. Um, uh, well, let me let me back up a little bit. Fred McMurray, uh, uh, he's a ranch herder, and uh, he wants nothing more than to just tend to his cattle, keep a low low key life, nothing exciting. But finds himself uh, torn between two young, uh, torn between his uh, two younger brothers, Dean Stockwell and Jeffrey Hunter. They basically shake up his whole life and everything, and get in some stuff. So it's a pretty good, solid movie. Um, if you're fans with them, uh, fans of any of those people, it's pretty, good, pretty decent movie. Uh, but yeah, overall, this is a great movie set. I mean, it's well worth the price. I, I believe it's under ten dollars. Um, it's well worth it for Canyon Passage, uh, Man from Alamo, uh, The Lawless Breed, and uh, Quantes. Um, I mean, four out of eight for sure. Solid movies that you want to see. Westerns. Um, I believe they're all big Technicolor movies from the fifties and stuff. So. Highly recommend this set. I mean, you, you can't beat it. Um, if you want to get some bang for your buck, you know, t you got ten dollars, you got eight movies. You know, that, that's why these sets are out. You know, It'll save you a lot of money. And uh, sometimes you get movies that really you, you can't really find, and they're on a set. I have a set like this that has ten movies, and it, it you know, it's pretty cool. It's got a good mixture. Of things so Universal, um, which I've found over the years, do a lot of double dipping. They they keep re-releasing stuff. Like you'll see them release Jaws every five years and make it the 25th anniversary, the 30th anniversary, the 35th anniversary, the 40th anniversary. So people have to rush out and buy it over again. Um, and Universal, I found over the years, don't. They don't really put a lot of extras on stuff, you know, especially in the classic realm of classic movies and stuff. But um, I have to really give them the thumbs up for these these uh, economy sets. Um, this one, the other one I was talking about, and I believe there's like a W.C. Fields collection that has like 17, 18 movies or something, which was like a $15 buy, which was well worth the money in my opinion um, I believe there's like a Marx Brothers set that you can get for like 10 bucks that has all their Paramount movies and stuff so they, they got some good collections um, but individually they seem like they kind of are bare bones about stuff and they, they re-release a lot of stuff that's been out 
Um, even though their vaults, um, Universal owns all of the um, Universal movies, you know, pre a certain time or certain date and time, but they have a vast vault full of movies. They own a lot of Paramount movies uh, from the 30s and 40s. Um, they own, you know, Universal, they own some other stuff. So they got this huge vault of movies they could release, but they don't. They just kind of keep them in the vault. They just languish in the vault year after year while they re-release other stuff. So this is my rant. I'm going to rant about this. And they'll re-release, re-release, re-release. Instead of sending out some new stuff that people want to see, you know, um, I know they'll never see this video, uh, but um, it's like, put out some stuff the fans will buy it if if you if you make it we will buy it so um there you go universal releasing all that stuff not releasing all that stuff so there you go guys i just wanted to show off this uh eight western economy pack that i got recently it's got some great westerns technicolor movies from the 50s um 40s so if you find it, go out, get it, look for it. It's well worth the money. Um, so yeah, so uh, comment. What did you think about my rant? Um, did you like any of those movies on there? Dislike any of them? Comment, let me know. Uh, let me know if you uh, some subject matter that I could do for a future video. Uh, maybe some movies that I should search out and find. Um, I had a friend recently comment and let me know of a couple movies. I searched them out myself and um, watched them and really enjoyed them. So feel free to, you know, give me some recommendations. I would love it. Um, and um, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe and hit the bell, the notification little icon bell. And uh, every time I release a movie you, or episode, you will get notified of it first. And um, I think that's about it for this episode, guys. Uh, be cool to each other. Watch good movies. Be safe out there. Wear a mask. Wash your hands, for God's sakes. And hopefully 2021 will be a better year. But uh, as of right now, let's just get through this, guys. And uh, let movies take our minds off some things. So, I don't know. So, later guys, I'm Mike, and I'm out, later on.